What's up you guys, my name is Ferris and I'm also known as 570 Ferris and today we're going to be doing an update video of what's going on on the channel. Oh wow, so okay, so where do I start? Um, First thing, first big update is I'm selling the Nissan GTR. I know, I know, I know. I said I wouldn't, but I think it's the smart move for right now since I just got the C63S. I also have my McLaren, which I might or might not be upgrading, I don't know yet. Um... And then, I don't know, I just think the C63S is overall the better car with with what I got going on with it, especially because I have full warranty on it. I have maintenance up to 50,000 miles on it, so I think it's just a smart move right now. And the Nissan GTR, it is a great car. It's just it's very expensive for, at the end of the day, it is a Nissan. So, I don't know, that's just my opinion on it, and I think the next owner will enjoy the car just as much as I did. So yeah, that's that update. It sucks, but it is what it is. I think it's a smart financial move being only 21 years old, and it doesn't make sense for me to have three cars. It's just kind of throwing money and burning money, and it's finally going to be nice to have because good cash flow, and I can maybe even upgrade the McLaren, honestly, and I just, I don't know. So, I mean, you guys comment, I'm thinking a 720S, but it is a lot, a lot more money than what I want to be spending on a car. So, I mean, you guys comment down below. You guys give me your opinion on what I should do. Should I just keep the C63S and the 570S? Or should I upgrade? Or you guys comment. Give me some advice down below. Update number two is the C63S is wrapped. I'm going to be showing you guys that today. And I got some cool goodies on there. So, I think it's going to be pretty sick. It came out amazing. I'm really, really happy with how it came out. So, yeah, let's show you guys it. Without further ado, guys, it's wrapped in satin black. I think it came out sick. I just want to say a huge thank you to Corsa and Huntington Beach. They killed it. it perfect work as usual. That hasn't peeled at all. I mean, I just want to say thank you guys. You guys tell me what you think how it came out. And I just want to say thank you to Corsa again for throwing on this carbon spoiler for me. I really, really do appreciate it. And also, they even gave me this for free. Like, thank you so much, Corsa. Like, I really, really appreciate you guys. If you guys want to get your car wrapped, go hit up Corsa Motorsports. They do amazing work. I mean, like, like look at all the cuts. Absolutely clean. Thank you, guys. So here's an update on the McLaren. I just want to say thank you, Ferrada Wheels, for also sending me these, dude. Look, oh, dude, I, I don't think I showed you guys this on the channel yet. Like, so freaking clean, man. Ooh. What do you guys think about the combo? I mean, I think it looks killer. I think it's a good combo of cars, and the GTR, I'm going to miss it so much. But like I said, it is what it is at this point, and I'm, I'm happy with what I got. And I'm just thankful and blessed, just to say the least. Another cool update with the McLaren was me and my friends did like a little DUI. It doesn't look that good, I know. But um, my whole entire front area was peeling, and so we scraped it down to the very, very minimum, and we flocked it all. All this stuff is called flocking, and I mean, it could use some touch-ups, but I mean, it looks a lot better than what it was before. The entire thing was completely peeled, so I'm happy with that. I just want to say and show you guys that. Real quick, before I end the video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a quick little test drive to show you how the car actually sounds while it's driving. I mean, it's a, it's a really, really fun car. And I'm going to be doing a full drive video on what I think about the car in the next couple of videos, hopefully. But yeah, I'll just give you guys like a little sneak peek. Oh, dude, one thing I forgot to show you guys is I love the black badging. And if you look over here as well, the contrast looks so good. And then check that out. And also we got the red calipers. I think it looks killer. It puts the car well. Let's start her up. And we go here, put in sport. And then the valves open up. That looks so good. Like, hoo, hoo, hoo. One thing right away that bothers me with this car is, look at this. Ready, ready? Do you guys hear that, like, little spring? I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, there you go. Anytime I go over a bump, you just hear a spring, which is really, really annoying. So I'm going to take that to get fixed. But other than that, the cabin is really, really nice in here. I really like it. The steering wheel feels nice. Check this out, guys. Look, you got the God's view, and then you got a full 360 of the car. So useful on, like, tight parking lots and backing out of the driveway, all that stuff. So I think this is a really, really good put together. The screen looks a little bit outdated, but other than that, it's really, really nice, and you got all the carbon fiber accents. So looks killer to me. And we're off. Oh, I love that. Ready, ready? This is a stock exhaust, guys. Sounds so good. Ooh. 
Dude, it's so loud. I, I love it. I, I'm so happy with it. The GTR wouldn't go bang bang like that. I love it. I'm happy with it. Yeah, but that was like a little quick test drive. Dude, look at the McLaren. I need I need a garage, guys. Like, <laughs> it's all my cars sit outside and they get dirty like really, really easily, which sucks. But I mean, it is what it is at this point. Alrighty, guys. I just wanted to show you guys something what I got in my car. Dude, check that out. <laughs> it works with my car so well. And on the other side is a sad face. And it just blends in my colors so well. So I saw this online. I was like, screw it. Let me cop one. And because it just contrasts with the car so well. My camera's about to die. So if this video ends, like suddenly, that you guys know what happened. But I appreciate all of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, drop a sub, and I'm going to be doing a lot more content. And let me know what you guys think. Should I upgrade the 570 into a 720S when I get the GTR sold? And. What do you guys think of the C63 with the wrap? But I appreciate it. You guys have a good one and thank you for tuning in.